The Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard, you guys are the lead agency. Uh, we're learning tonight a little bit more of what went on in the school. Can you kind of walk us through what happened shortly before two this afternoon at Oxford High? Yeah, well, um, tragically, as you know, we had an active shooter in the school. Preliminary investigation, we believe he came out of a bathroom with a weapon in hand um, and obviously moved into the school um, the exact path and progress is part of the investigation. Our forensic team is now just in the process of going through a, what is a huge crime scene and that will be determined not only by physical evidence but also uh, Oxford's very proactive so they have cameras and we'll be reviewing a tremendous amount of video. But in any event he came out of the bathroom. Uh, we received over 100 calls into our emergency operations center about an active shooter. Um, the call was dispatched, I believe, at 12.52. Uh, we had deputies on scene within minutes. Within three minutes of them being on scene, they had taken him into custody, thankfully, because he still had a, a weapon with seven rounds. Um, so, you know, I believe that those are potentially seven more victims that were in that gun uh, at the time he was apprehended. Sir, any idea of a motive? I think that's what so many parents want to know is why someone would do this. At this point, we don't know a motive. He's not speaking to us and his parents has refused us the opportunity to speak to him. And under Michigan law, um, a juvenile, uh, you have to get permission from the parents and we do not have it. I understand three students have passed, uh, three more in critical condition. What can you say uh, about uh, the victims that are still in the hospital? Well, we're certainly praying for them and, and all the victims, all the families, the community. You know, Oxford is an amazing, um, sweet, quiet community, and I guess it's a testimony to the fact that tragedy can fall on any community in America, and it has unfortunately fallen here today. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a it's a process that, you know, we're in the midst of. Congresswoman uh, Alyssa Slotkin has said earlier today that not any community could have responded this way. Um, I, I'm sure your deputies deserve quite a thank you for apprehending the suspect in five minutes or less. Well, I'm super proud of them because, you know, one of the things we did is we study events all around the world. After Mumbai, I called every police chief in Oakland County and I said, we need to train for these kinds of horrific events. Hope and pray it never happens, but that's not a strategy preparation is. And so many years have gone into this training now where all of the police agencies in Oakland County train regularly for active shooters or whatever the case may be. And so they immediately can fold together and work together. Whoever gets there first knows exactly what the other person will do. Secondly, I told our folks very clearly that their job is to go in, not to stage, not to wait. If they get there first, go in. If I get there first, I'm going in. We get there together, we're both going in, but go in and look for the threat because every second you delay, we could have another victim. And, and that's the preparation and the training that all of our deputies go through every year. And that's exactly what happened today. Thank you, sir, so much for speaking with us. We appreciate it.